last two years of my life, I've been on standby. Glad I can finally relax for a couple of years at least. New at 11, a story of perseverance in Antioch, where a family is celebrating a double miracle tonight. The Wimet family's two youngest children both desperately needed transplants. And tonight, our Andrew Nakano paid them a visit as they start down a new road to recovery. This incredibly tough journey began at this hospital roughly 10 years ago. One of Wimet's family's children was crying in pain, was brought here. The family learned that the child required a double organ transplant, but that was just the beginning. This was Matthew we met when he first received a liver and kidney transplant at the age of two. Now at 11 years old, Matthew is back home recovering from his second kidney transplant. I am able to actually be a normal kid, so I'm, I'm glad that I could finally kind of just take a break from all this stuff after so many years of advocating and waiting. Glad I can finally relax for a couple of years at least. For the last 10 years, he went from one medical appointment to another as he battled a rare genetic liver disorder, but he wasn't alone. His sibling was also diagnosed with the same disease. After years of waiting for a kidney transplant less than two weeks ago, Carswell we met got the news they desperately wanted to hear. I froze for a good 10, 15 seconds as I tried to process what that meant because there's waiting and there's thinking about it and then actually hearing the words is completely different and an unexpected feeling. As fate would have it, the day Carswell came out of surgery, the next call came for Matthew, as his original donated kidney had slowly deteriorated for years. Within 24 hours, the We Met family discovered both children received an offer for an organ. We always knew that it was gonna take someone's loss for our gain. And we always knew somebody was gonna be, someone was gonna hurt for us to be happy. And we never looked at it like, where's our organs, we always wondered, is our donor living their best life? We don't pray for someone's death. We just pray that if somebody was to pass away, that it was in a way that it can bring life to other people. This journey, though, is far from over. Kelly and Christy, we met, know the challenges that come with organ transplants, but they remain hopeful for a full recovery. The family is also hoping its story will inspire others to give the gift of life. I want to tell them that when we say donors save lives, it's not cheesy, it's not a weak sentiment to get more organs, it's real and true. The past two years of my life, I've been on standby, but now that I have a new kidney, it has really brought an entirely new view on life. It has brought a new life period. In Antioch, Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5.